I'm sorry, Michael, but it's really obvious why you want us to leave the island. You you can't wait to get back to Port Charles. I want to stand up for my father. Yeah, Michael, but the whole idea is to keep you out of this. I'm in it, up to my neck. Dad's being tried for murder because of me. Diane's gonna get your dad acquitted. Well, what if they don't? What if Dad goes to prison? What? We have plans to get your dad out of the country. Yeah, what? And then he'll have to leave everything and spend the rest of his life hiding? Well, he'll be free, just like you. <sighs> Fine. I get he thinks it's what he owes me as a dad. You want me to sit here on my hands and let everybody else clean up my mess? Done. See, the mess started when your dad and I decided to lie and cover things up, so the cleanup's on us, not you. All right, I'll stay here until the trial's over. At least I won't have you coming down on me for skipping school. Molly, what are you doing here? Um, well, it's just that I, I've never seen the new offices, so I, um... Uh, I, 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 you know, I, I, before you, you know, start interrogating the child, I should confess on behalf of Molly and myself that we were putting our heads together to figure out the best way to keep the coals of love burning under your romance with Mac. Mm -hmm. See, that would be my business, right? Not yours. Not yours. <laughs> Come on, Mom. Mac is so nice and handsome. And you two get along really well. And we have for years and years because he's my friend and he's my colleague. But, Mom... But, Mom... If we become more than friends, I promise you'll be the first to know. And Molly, I, I really think that we need to accept your mother's decision on this one. Well, personally, I think she's protesting too much. Aren't you late for something? Actually, you are, actually. You have, your, you have your book club. And this time, read something that isn't a romance novel, okay? Try a, try a biography. Mom, Immortal Lovers, Elizabeth Barrett and Robert Browning was a biography. <laughs> I spawned her. Bye-bye. Bye, Mom. Bye, Diane. We are particularly cranky this morning. Why? We lost Karina DeSoro. She dropped, she dropped her sexual harassment lawsuit against the opera company? Not exactly. She found another law firm. Why? Iris. Iris? What did Iris do? Iris. Did she diss her perfume? She recommended an entertainment law firm. She thought it would be a better fit for her situation. That sanctimonious Pris, and after you, out of the goodness of your heart, plucked her from the ranks of the unemployed. She is a blight on working women everywhere. She's an ungrateful wench. Who gets to fire her? Ooh, rock, paper, scissors. <clears throat> Iris, I have a few choice four-letter words for you. This is nice. Whoa. Talk about a different look. So you like it? I don't know. No, no, no. Maybe it's too hot. <laughs> you look like five years older. Works for me. Yeah, but Jordy's friends are going to be all over you. Are you sure you don't like this dress right here? Mm. No? I like this one. It's more mature. So I thought Jennifer and I would go to a new club called Pluto. It's got this interplanetary theme. Far out. <laughs> Your father's cute. Yeah, you should see him after a few drinks. She's very smart. <laughs> <laughs> Ethan says the ceiling is filled with stars. Yeah, I figured we'd kick back, give a few drinks, check out the constellations. You know, Jennifer, back in my day, we could do that without a cover charge. Light year ago. <laughs> Well, what is a light year? Oh, it's the time it takes light to travel in one year at 186,000 miles per second. Squared. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, so what time should I pick you up? Oh, I have some work left to do, so email me. Bernie hates it when I take personal calls. Oh, what kind of a heartless bastard do you work for? Oh, he would be so much more upset if he knew the guy calling was the guy who lured me away from my desk while his friend was trying to break into the office. There's a girl who could start a fire by crossing her legs. Of course, she's nothing compared to my wife. 
And speaking of... Could that have been more rehearsed? You warned me. You'll recover. Tread carefully with that blonde pal. She obviously knows that you're aligned with Johnny Z. Oh, come on, man. I'm... I don't plan on joining Johnny on any more of his foolish adventures. Where's Spinelli? He's a couple of creams down. Is he okay? Yeah, they're running some tests on his leg. What's going on with you? Robin did an x-ray of my chest, and she ran some tests. Which I have to check on. I'll be right back. So what are you doing stuck in a sewer with Spinelli all night? A storm drain, and we were tracking a serial killer. The serial killer? I know it sounds weird, okay, but it was actually really romantic. It's how Spinelli and I got together in the first place. Even the getting stuck part. Interesting dating ritual. <laughs> Maximista, oh, the jackal has been gravely concerned about your welfare. I'm okay, thanks to you. Me? Yeah, I mean, if it had been for you getting in touch with Johnny, we could have died down there. Sadly so, and that's why the jackal is so consumed with guilt. And I, I had less to do with the rescue than the actual... Uh, look, all I did was raise the grate. Where Spinelli was the one who sent me a text, told me where you were, and kept you warm till I got there. Thank you, Spinelli. 